Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. How are you? Excellent, thank you. Thank you for for uh, allowing me to be so intimate by calling you by your first name. But we feel we know you from Boston. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We love you in Boston. Season three on Amazon Emmy nominated series. This is a fantastic show based on Michael Connelly's crime series. How'd you get the job? I begged. I begged. <laughs> no. It was worth it. It was worth it, it. It's it's the gift that keeps on giving. You're the perfect fit for this. I can't see anyone else in this role, but tell my audience, in case they aren't as aware as many of us are, about your role in Bosch. Well, I played Detective Harry Bosch. He's an LAPD homicide detective. And uh, the show is based on multiple novels. We choose one, sometimes three books per season. And then the writers have the enormous task of sort of putting the books all together and, and creating a 10-episode um, season. And we don't follow the books chronologically for those who are fans of the books, so we sort of bounce in and out and really use the stories. But the, the integrity and the substance of, of the character of, of Harry Bosch is, is at the core of the show. Well, you have 20 novels to choose from. I mean, this is just such rich storylines for you. It really is. So, what makes the writer choose a certain story, especially since you don't go in chronological order? You know, that's sort of hard to say. If we, they sort of had the task when they were creating the show to figure out where they were going to come in to, um, you know, in the history of Harry. And so rather than starting with the Black Echo, the first book, and, and moving it along, um, we jumped in the first season um, sort of in the middle of, of Harry's career and find him in his early, early to mid-40s um, with quite a bit of history behind him. And so each season, um, they, they, they choose the books, and that's, uh, that's slightly above my pay grade in, in, in that regard, but I'm just thankful that they, they keep uh, choosing them. I mean, look, even if we didn't, have the books if we'd already used them all up uh, that the universe of Harry Bosch has been so well realized now that you could you could just keep going but Michael writes a book every year um, the, the books just pour out of him so yeah he's a prolific writer in that series <laughs> yeah. so my audience they we, we talked about this over the weekend on Facebook they're very familiar with the Michael Connolly crime series. I mean, it has a following I, I, I didn't know was so huge. I knew he produced a lot of books. Mm -hmm. But now it's translated to you. They love watching this, and usually there's a backlash when things go from book to movie or book yes. to TV, you know, because the audience knows it. But they're on board with this. Why do you think that is? They stay so in, Does the writers just stay so in sync with what Michael has written? Well, there is that, and, and I think uh, too often we see there's this great temptation that they kind of have to amp things up, but the character of, of, of Bosch is so beautifully created in the books that we don't, we haven't deviated from, from that at all as, as to who the character is and, and how he sort of navigates his world. And so I think that, that being very important to the fans, um, they're on board. And the, the, the thing that resonates is that 
Harry is, he's not a cliche character. He's really an anti-hero. And because he's sort of flawed, I think it makes him much more accessible to audiences because he's a real person. And I think that's, that draws people because he makes mistakes. I mean, he's a very, he's a very human character. And he, he's also a very good detective. He's, he, he's, he's great at what he does. He's, he's relentless. And so I think anyone, uh, if, were they a victim of, of, of a crime, they would want someone like Harry Bosch on the job. I think we see a little of ourselves in there also, too. I think that is part of the tune-in factor. You can see the emotions and, and the choices and you know, you know, we sit at home saying, I wouldn't do that. Yes, I would right. do that. You know, that's what we do. Or I would do that. Or I wish I could do that. Exactly. We, you know, we've seen you make this evolution to Bosch. We've seen you in S.H.I.E.L.D. and Suits, The Good Wife. You know, uh, what's on the horizon for you with you and Harry Bosch, the show? This is your third season. Do you go into a fourth? Yes, yes. We, we have a, a fourth season pickup which we were very blessed to have a, a, an early decision on that. And so there's tremendous anticipation um, on, on my part and the rest of the, of the cast to get back to work and, and, uh, and do more. It's All a, right, so when do you want, to watch this, want us to watch you in this third season? Because we're there. We are April 21st. Uh, all 10 episodes drop on Amazon Prime. And be there or be square, because it's a, it's a good ride. It's going to, so buckle up. Well, we're going to have a little viewing party at my studio. So, Titus, I want to thank you so much for gracing the Belder BB Show. And keep doing what you're doing, because you're doing it well. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being my guest.